evening, everybody. Let me introduce myself in the first place. I'm a third year PhD researcher in the Department of Electrical, Electronic and Information Engineering. And today, I'm going to be talking about cold atmospheric pressure plasmas. Plasma is known as the fourth state of matter and is basically an ionized gas. When delivering electrical power to a neutral gas like air, a fraction of the gas atoms gets ionized and an electrical discharge, like the ones you can see in the pictures, is ignited. Atmospheric pressure electrical discharges usually present strong thermodynamic non-equilibrium. Electrons are highly energetic, but the plasma gas is nearly room temperature without any cooling. In addition, since they are operated at atmospheric pressure, cold plasmas don't require any complex and expensive vacuum systems. One of the most attractive features of cold atmospheric pressure plasmas is their capability to enhance chemical processes without the need for high temperatures. They've been proven to be energy efficient, eco-friendly, novel tools for the simultaneous production of UV radiation and oxidizing species, including ozone, hydroxy radical and hydrogen peroxide, which are all effective against pathogens and organic pollutants. That's why my research is focused on development, characterization and modeling of cold atmospheric pressure plasmas for biomedical and environmental applications. Here you have an, an example of a couple of plasma devices I engineered during my PhD. The left-hand picture shows a so-called plasma jet in helium nitrogen admixture for sterilization purposes, whereas the right-hand picture shows a nanosecond pulsed electrical discharge in water for the direct breakdown of organic pollutants in the liquid phase. To conclude, I just want to mention that Manuela, the girl who spoke previously, and I are working together on a project in order to understand if cold atmospheric pressure plasma can also be applied successfully to yield cancer. Thanks for your attention. Yeah.